I think the key question this year is we know inflation is moderating, it's coming down. The key is how far and how fast. Judging by the kind of market run up we're seeing right now, what are investors betting? You know, I think investors are betting for a very rapid deceleration in inflation. I think that's likely to happen. I think we're going to see a lot, you know, the headline uh, compares are going to uh, dramatically decline. And I think a lot of that is is certainly being embedded in forward expectations. We're going to see that throughout the year. Things will get better from an inflationary standpoint. But I would caution everybody that that is going to be highly transient and it's masking some very sticky underlying trends that are going to be propelling inflation, certainly for the medium to long term. So what are we talking about? Is that just housing or is there something else, George, that you, that you think is going to have that stickiness? Uh, you know, I think, in fact, I think housing will actually start to roll over as we get contemporaneous data. Mm -hmm. I think what's actually going to be sticky are some structural elements. What's going to be sticky is, one, the deglobalization that we're seeing. The, the bringing onshoring of all manufacturing is just going to make things more expensive across the entire manufacturing supply side of the global economy. I think a lot of regulation, a lot of it being ESG related, a lot of this trying to clean up the world and make the world a better, safer place, will be inflationary. It adds costs without increasing productivity. We're also seeing demographic trends throughout many of the world's biggest labor forces, whether they're in the US, Europe, even in China and Japan. We're seeing the demographics where folks are retiring at a faster rate than people are backfilling those roles, creating wage pressures going forward. So there's multiple structural elements here, including, never mind, just-in-time manufacturing going away, given some of the supply disruptions we saw with COVID and Ukraine, to a greater bolus of manufacturing, creating more inflationary, more cost pressures per unit of output mm -hmm. than we've had long term. So I think while we see inflation headlines, headlines numbers decelerate over the year, we are longer term building in a greater inflationary backdrop, equilibrium, than we've had in a long time. 